All right, so now we're going to talk about severe uneven lies. Now, a couple of things, and you're going to see this a lot on this golf course this week at Kiowa, and we're going to start with this lie, ball way above your feet, around the greens. Now, a couple of things. In an uneven lie, if the ground, if your upper body's like this and the ground is like that on a flat lie, so this is the relationship, whatever the ground does, you've got to make your upper body, we'll use this stick here, so if here's my upper body on a flat lie, if the ground comes up, I've got to get my upper body so these angles stay the same, okay? So if the ball comes above my feet like that, what do I need to do? Well, if I use my normal, see this isn't going to work, so I've got to stand up straighter so that as the ground goes this way, my spine angle is the same relative to the ground, so the circle of the club works the same. Now, if the ball goes the other way, I've got to bend over this way, okay? If the ground, if, if, if it tilts this way, so if it's a downhill lie, then I have to tilt this way. If it's an uphill lie, I have to go this way. So you're always doing this with your spine. Flat lie, downhill, uphill, this way, this way. That's the first thing. Second thing, on most all of the lies, especially ball above your feet, downhill lie where you're going this way, where the, the slope is big this way, or an uphill lie has a big effect on what it does to the club. Now this ball above your feet, most people will agree that when they hit this shot, they normally pull it. Well, why do you pull it? Well, a lot of people think they pull it because they, they get set up and say, well, the swing's more around you. No, that's not it. If I put this magnet in the middle of the face, okay, if I set up if it's a flat lie, see, and the club sits normal, that's where the ball's going to go. Now, watch what happens as the club tilts this way. Where is that stick aimed? Well, now that stick's aimed over here. So it's the angle of the face that makes the ball go offline. So when you get these balls that are above your feet, what you have to learn to do is you're looking at the loft in the face. Now, a lot of people are so afraid when they go, they go, oh, I know I'm going to hit it left, so they try to open the face more. Well, now that thing's pointed right back at me. You'll go right under it, or the ball will come right at you. Okay, so on these lies, this is a sand wedge. What you have to learn to do is see the loft angle of the face. So you see that stick I have coming out of there. I mean, when we see that stick, when I turn it this way and you look right into the camera, you see right here it's aimed at you. Now, as I tip it like this, see the faces, but see where this angle's going. So when I get this lie, what I've learned to do, I've hit so many of them, I see the flag. See, I know I've got to get set about right there. Okay, so now I'm swinging, basically. I'm swinging on an arc, and I'm going to hit the ball just like that. Now, from that angle, you go, well, the ball's going to go over there. Uh-uh. See where the angle of that face is. So now I'm here. I'm going to swing this way, but the angle of the face, where did it take the ball? Right over to the flag. Okay, so it's practicing and learning how to see the launch angle in the face and then lining up so when the club hits the ball, the launch angle of the face will take the ball to the target. If you keep trying to stay right here on this lie and trying to figure out what to do with the face, it isn't going to work. Now, what you'll see a lot of these guys do when they're, say, 50, 60, 100 yards away with the ball above their feet, they'll take a club that has a lot less loft. Now, sure, they could get a 60 degree there, but they may take an 8 iron. Why? It has less loft, so they don't have to aim as far to the right, and it's a lot easier to control the direction the ball goes. So on this slide, ball above your feet, the higher loft in the face, the more loft in the face, the more the ball is going to launch to the left. So the more you have to aim to the right and you have to learn to trust, if I swing and hit it right there, that face is going to hit the ball over at that, at that stick. It's something you visually have to practice. You just have to hit a few balls. But that's lie number one.